All right, just playing around on the 90D at the moment. So the 80% moon behind the tree, Saturn there. And Jupiter heading towards that tree. So I better hurry up and get the uh, other camera out here so we can zoom into it. Well, that's a cool shot. So we still get the two trees in there, Jupiter and Saturn. right back. Alrighty, hello there. I think we're finally situated. I've been out here probably for about a good hour now, getting pictures and video and everything else with two different cameras and lenses and stuff. So our last order of the day here is what we're going to start with. <laughs> anyway, today is Tuesday, October 8th, 2019. It's now 8.08 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And this morning we woke up to a dense fog here. It didn't clear up until about, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning or so. But as the day went on and the sky's cleared up. We finally have something to see here. We have Jupiter heading down for the night. It's getting close to that tree, so I think I'm going to hurry up and after showing this small clip here of the moons of Jupiter, we're going to change up and try to get the bands in. So I'll be right back just a second. All right, there we go. We can see a bit of the bands of Jupiter there. And we'll try to see if we can get it in any better with the stacking software. Boy, it's be bopping all over the place. And there's really no wind. But each night, Jupiter it's getting lower and lower towards that tree. <laughs> but that was a cool look there. So from there, let's try to head over to Saturn. It's so difficult on this camera. One reason why I hate using it, my monitor is black. So then you have to dick around and try to find something. There it is. That was lucky. It'll take me a while to get situated here with Saturn, so I'll be right back. Hello to those in the plane. <laughs> Making a racket up there, aren't you guys? All right, let's get a clip here of Saturn. Well, I'm really surprised to see it shaking so much. So it's pretty still out.
most nights when we have the lens extended out like this and there's really no wind, it doesn't seem to shake near as much. Who knows, maybe the ground beneath our feet is uh, vibrating. Never know. It's funny that Saturn is now coming in better than Jupiter. During the summer, Jupiter came in much better. But it was also higher up in the uh, sky at the time. Whereas earlier in the uh, summer, Saturn was still rising and dodging trees and all that stuff. <laughs> but now that Saturn's scooting across the sky, it's coming in better. So we should get a decent uh, stacking clip out of that. That's good enough there. And I'm afraid the moon is still in the willow tree. <laughs> it has been for the last uh, hour and a half that I've been out here. So we're really not going to get a chance to see it. I could try. Let me look around and see if I can relocate us. We can do that. All right, finally we're situated. So we can have a look at our 80% lit moon. And she is shimmering and shivering and everything else up there. <laughs> well, it's funny. It doesn't seem to be coming in near as good as it did the other night. Let me get to a good area, make sure we're... Oh, I love that spot right here. Hmm. That's quite odd. We don't have clouds tonight, and it doesn't seem to be coming in near as good. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bitch about this camera, but the layout is so much different than the other ones, which I'm more used to using. And they're more intuitive too. But yeah, I just, uh, I'm really surprised. How poorly that's coming out tonight. Like I said, it doesn't seem to be near as cloudy out than it was the other night, and it came in really well that night. Alright, well. I'm gonna try to move this over so in case I get a clip of it. Try to stack it. Whoa! Cool flyby. Alright, so we'll check that flyby out on the computer and we go in. Make sure it was a bird. It was quite cool. 
Well, that was a nice one. <laughs> Came in from the upper left. Oh, another one, my gosh. So we have at least uh, three of them to check out. Make sure we have birds flying across there. Another. <laughs> Somebody's active tonight. That's probably birds and bats, but hey, you never know. Could be just about anything. Boy, it does not look good. My gosh. And another. Well, I'm just letting this run just a bit longer because we're having so many flybys. <laughs> They're just so cool. But we'll check for wings flapping. That was a nice slow one there. Oh, this is gonna take me forever and a day to get through all the footage, my gosh. I think it started at 7 p.m., it's 8.30 now. Alrighty, well, let's wave goodnight to all these guys. <laughs> our planets, our moons, and all the stuff streaking past the moon. Anyway, I'm going to wish you all a great night and a wonderful Wednesday ahead. It's now 8.32 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. So we'll all say good night to you. Bye now. Whoa. <laughs> right as I was about to hit the button to shut her off. <laughs>